Today I am riding with Jeff. He is the rider leading with the white back protector. He races in the amateur category age 19 to 29 at the Eastern States Cup. He is getting much faster and he's getting pretty good results. He podiumed at Powder Ridge the last race and got 6th place at Blue Mountain recently on an unfamiliar bike. Trek actually sponsors Damn, him so to ride dusty. and he got a Trek session to ride completely for free. See that one coming. Now I have no expectations of ever being able to keep up with this guy but Jose is actually coming pretty close. That was completely different. Yeah. So dusty. Yeah, I know. I'm the, I don't trust the so grip dry. yet going at that speed. So here is how the order of the train goes. Jose can kind of keep up with Jeff and I can kind of keep up with Jose. So even though Jose is like this tiny little speck in my frame, but it's still in frame and that's how the order goes. Oh, okay, so that's the tech trolley he's talking about. This is... That was, uh, <laughs> that was, I was like, are these rocks going to move under me? Yeah. <laughs> that was like the I'll jack see. kind of terrain. Yeah. Alpine. I would love to yeah. yeah, Alpine, let's go. Ready? Yep. Now, just to clarify, when they race downhill, it is not on the flowy, fast, burby jump sections. It's down technical rocks and everything. And I can only kind of see them at the end of the run on those trails which is my strong suit there is absolutely no way in hell i can even keep up with them even a little bit on the race trails which is all the rocks and technical routes and stuff like that oh my god so damn it's so dusty Oh, that was a hard case. In dusty conditions like this, Jeff tells me that he does not use the brakes in the corner. Now, if it was me following him directly, he would lose me in like three corners. But Jose is well, nuts and he's young out. also, so he is like full send and trying to keep so up with Jeff. Right. Oh, loose. They're already gone. Should have went damn blue. Should have went damn blue. Should have went damn blue. I don't know. I was just trying to keep Jose in my in my view. He's like two turns ahead. Good. Yeah, let's go. Oh no! I got caught on a rock.
Damn, the phone's starting to squeak. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is your first run, right? No. Oh, okay. I have a Japan trip, so I'm not trying to get myself hurt. Oh, of course not. That would suck. I'd also like to apologize for the quality of the footage. I tried flattening the contrast as much as I reasonably could, but it's really hard to get an idea of what the terrain looks like when you just see the sunlight going through the tree and the leaves. It just There's looks no like spots all over the that. ground. Oh my god, that was such a case! <laughs> I tried committing to it. Nope, there's no way I already lost all the speed on that one. Oh, they added that rock there. That was smooth. Running good today. No. All the way down to Salvation to Crapshoot. Yep. Wait, you're gonna do full pull down Crapshoot too? No, no, we're gonna. Stop. Okay, stop at the bottom of Salvation. Yeah, sure. Yep, let's go. So dusty. This is where I fall behind. No, I'm not going to have enough speed for that one. Can't hit those shark fins for anything. I fucked up on those shark fins really bad. So I was like, oh, there they go. Yeah. That was tiring. <sighs> that step down after the step up scares me. Because it's like a left step down, which is same thing with same thing with salvation. Why I can't do that left step down? Like I'm sca I can't, like left turns are my weakness. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Stop.
step down that scares me. Scares Jose too. Yeah, it's not just me. <laughs> Oh my god, I was in the air for longer than expected on that one. I'm not hitting that thing anyway, so... This step up at the bottom, at the end of Crapshoot, lives rent free in my head. It looked like they reworked it somewhat this season, but you will see Jeff tell somebody in to try to clear this at the end of the video. Because, you know, I kind of want to steeze up the smaller jumps instead of, like, just sending it, you know? Damn, they're gone already. How fast are they fucking riding down this shit? While they say it is very good to follow someone that is faster of a rider, up to a certain point, I actually, while I set a lot of PRs, it's only by like three or four seconds. It is very, very high consequence to ride at this speed and crash because I'm going pretty fast already and they're going even faster. <laughs> How fast were you guys fucking going? I was just hitting every little side hit. I got caught. <laughs> oh, he's going straight down. It's so fucking dusty. Damn, it's so slow, so loose today. Holy shit, front's washing out. I thought we were going to hell. That first turn, he's gone. 
<laughs> Damn. Oh, Jeff's dropping in. Damn, it's so fucking loose. I don't know Tempest, so I am by far the slowest one here. I know. My god, I wasn't even close to clearing that one. Shit, so loose. See them. Damn, kid. I'm not clearing these at all. I'm not clearing any of them at all. Oh, no, 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 I thought you were my friends. Sorry, if I'm waiting. I couldn't clear the rest of them. The flow is like, they are deceptively long. Once you start here, 
Uh-huh. Exit ka na ng maaga para maka-set up ka. Yeah. Yeah. Tara, tara, I'll show you. No brakes, okay? No brakes. Oh. Here they come. No, that's not them. Saw <laughs> <laughs> so that little squirrel. Ultimately, in the end, it was a great day to ride, and the fact that I didn't crash, it makes it even better. So, no, it was really, really good today. Thanks for watching. Bye.